Hi, welcome to another video. Gemini has launched some new and cool stuff, and I thought to talk about them, which is majorly Gemini CLI's interactive shell update in V0.9.0, plus the new codebase investigator agent that's being tested in the Gemini CLI project. So, the headline change in version 0.9.0 is the interactive shell. Basically, what it does is run full interactive TUI programs inside Gemini CLI itself. Vim, Nano, HTOP slash top, interactive git rebase dash i, language REPLS, and set up scripts like npm init or ngnu, without bouncing to a separate terminal, and serializes the terminal state, text, colors, cursor position, and streams a live feedback to the shell UI. Input is two-way, so keystrokes are forwarded to the process, and resizing the window, so full-screen tools adjust layout on the fly, which is kind of cool. There's also a focus shortcut, so you can lock into the terminal when you need to drive a session without model chatter. Color rendering is fixed up too, which is pretty good. It's enabled by default in V0.9.0, and the install is straightforward. You update with npm install dash g at google slash gemini dash cli at latest. I mean, I liked it because interactive git rebase dash i and quick vim edits no longer break the flow or force me to hop out and lose context, which is quite awesome. Now, the second thing is the codebase investigator agent. On GitHub, there's a discussion seeking testers, and the gist is an agent that deeply analyzes your repo, explains architecture, finds hotspots, and proposes coherent, multi-file changes with your approval. It aligns with the broader agent mode behavior you've seen in Code Assist and the IDE extensions. But this one is centered around the CLI's workflow and tooling. The aim here is that you can kick off a review or refactor plan at the project level and then accept or reject the changes step by step. Think scan, plan, change. Practically, it means you ask for a higher level map of the code base, get a plan with diffs, and then decide whether to apply each chunk. Checkpointing and rollbacks are part of the general flow in the ecosystem, so even if something goes sideways, you're not stuck. That's the part I really liked, because multi-file edits with control are insanely good for bigger cleanups, which is quite awesome. However, it's still in testing, so you'll probably see rough edges, missing knobs, and edge cases with very large repos. So, there's that. Anyway, let's jump straight into a quick demo flow. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Photogenius AI. Photogenius AI is an all-in-one AI-powered creation suite that lets you type anything and get stunning visuals instantly. Now also the best place to use Google's Nano Banana for images and VO3 for videos, plus affordable 3D model generation. Inside the image playground, Nano Banana shines for fast, high-quality image generation, and you can add reference images and do edits right in the tool. You also get Flux, Stable Diffusion, Kandinsky, and more in one place. The Video Playground supports Google VO3 with and without reference images, and you can render in different styles without the usual complexity. Great for coders who want results, not knobs. For 3D, you can upload a PNG, think a Lego build or a simple robot, and get a printable model. Cheap, quick, and surprisingly clean for rapid prototyping. Pricing is among the best for VO3 and Nano Banana, and you still have access to about 10 other handy AI tools like avatars, background removal, logo, emoji, ads, and app icons in the Creative Tool Suite. It starts at a low entry price, and you can take an additional 30% off with my coupon code KING30. Check Photogenius out through the link in the description and try it for yourself. Now, back to the video. You can just go to your terminal, update Gemini CLI to the preview version, and verify. I'll show exactly what you do. First, Run npm install dash g at google slash gemini dash cli at preview, then gemini dash version to confirm it took. Then, launch gemini in a repo folder where I already have a few commits to play with. 
I hit the focus hotkey to lock the terminal, then start with Vim R, and you can see that this works pretty well. You can also do things like try an interactive Git rebase, which should pop the editor in line. This is great, and end-to-end -end PTY behavior is consistent, and that keystrokes and color output aren't getting munged, which is pretty good. Now let me ask the agent to do some code base investigation. I'll start simple. Give me a high-level architecture map of this repo and identify modules with the highest churn and coupling. Propose a safe refactor plan. If you remember, the CLI can snapshot the directory tree at startup, and for smaller repos, you can use an all-files ingestion flag, but I prefer tool-driven reading and search for big projects to avoid timeouts and token bloat. The agent returns a structured plan, targets, diffs, and sequencing. I'll ask a follow-up. Focus only on the logging layer and config. Replace ad hoc loggers with the project wrapper and fix imports. It proposes multi-file edits. I review the diffs, accept the ones that are clearly correct, and skip anything that needs a second look. If something feels off, I revert to a checkpoint. I really liked it and have been using it. That's why I thought to share it with you guys as well. Because coherent multi-file edits with guardrails are super cool. A few honest notes. The interactive shell is excellent, but platform input handling is still being refined. So depending on your terminal emulator or OS, you might hit occasional weird key combos or edge cases. Not bad at all, but keep expectations reasonable. Large repos and very deep TUIS can stress buffer handling. On the agent side, project scale analysis is amazing when it works, but performance can dip with massive mono repos, and some diffs will require human review anyway. Also, if you relied on older at tool invocation patterns in other products, the ecosystem is moving towards MCP servers and agent mode integrations for external services, which is both more flexible and occasionally a bummer for muscle memory. Pricing and quotas differ by auth mode. Pro slash ultra tiers have higher limits, which is pretty good, but do keep an eye on usage. Finally, there's no magic SDK for the investigator piece in the CLI yet. It's a feature wave under active testing, so documentation and knobs may be basic right now. The V0.9.0 interactive shell removes a nagging friction, no context switching for TUIS, and the codebase investigator agent brings a project-wide controlled change workflow into your terminal. It's a pragmatic combo. You stay in context, you get two-way interactivity for your tools, and you get scalable analysis with approvals and rollbacks. I thought I'd talk about this as well, because it slots neatly into a dev day with fewer janky transitions, which is quite awesome. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.